I love gacha videos and I'm sure if you've clicked on this video, you love them too. But there are also some things that I don't like about gacha videos and today we'll be exploring those. A user named Dragonlime has made a video called 70 things I hate in gacha videos and I thought it would be a good idea to watch this and see how many I agree with. If like me, you are a fan of all things gacha, make sure to leave a like on the video and if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed. Subscribing will Really helps me out and it would be an awesome Christmas present. Now let's get into it. So here we have a screen that says this video is not meant to offend anyone and I want to second that. If you find something offensive in this video I am really sorry. I didn't make it. I just want to see if I agree with it and also let me know in the comments which ones you don't agree with. Let's just start. These eyes. I hate them because they're the first ones there and they look like baby eyes. Now I actually think these eyes eyes are super cute and I don't really have a problem with people using whatever eyes they want. I know I've been guilty of using these eyes a few times, but I can see why people might not like them. But then people use them for full grown adults. Like, it looks very newbie. A lot of beginner gacha tubers use these eyes for most of their OCs. You should add a variety of eyes on different OCs instead of just one or two. Number two, this mouth. No one's mouth is shaped like that. Once again, I have to disagree with this because I think this mouth is super cute. It has that classic anime vibe to it and I think you always have to have a cartoony cute mouth like this to express that certain emotion, whatever that emotion is. It reminds me of the sort of mouth you would make if someone brought out a giant cake. Number three, these eyes. They're creepy. This is probably the first one I've agreed with but yeah, these eyes are very creepy. They just kind of look soulless and I don't think I've ever found an opportunity to use them on any of my OCs. Number four, when you don't use pupils. How are you supposed to even see without pupils? Blind people are an exception. Add pupils. I am guilty of this. I make gacha characters all of the time that don't have pupils. I didn't realize that was a bad thing, but now I'm questioning everything. Number five, when there are only two colors. This is lazy, boring, terrible character design, and plain stupid. Might as well be black and white if you aren't gonna add any more colors. Is it bad that I think this gacha character kinda looks cute? I don't know, I don't hate on the two color thing. I mean, look at me, I'm pretty much two colors right now. When their hair doesn't line up. This makes me so irritated. I can't even. I would have not noticed this, but yes, I kind of hate this now. Number seven, when all of the main slash good characters are all wolves of some sort. Well, I guess it kind of depends on the story because if the story is all about alphas, then of course they're gonna be wolves. But in the same video, the bullies are cats or rabbits. Hmm, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Also, does that really matter? And if they aren't wolves, the main characters are demons of some sort. And the bullies are angels? I don't even get this because angels are supposed to be good. Number eight bully stereotypes. You know what I mean. When people jump to conclusions. Here's an example. Oh my gosh, is she trying to steal my senpai? Oh, she's blonde. She must be a bully. Why does she get all of the boys? Doesn't notice their siblings and they look the same. When the boys look something like this. Bruh. 11. When people are really short even though they're adults. You can have really short adults. I'm pretty short. Number 12 this shirt. I don't think you should use this shirt unless you're a rock star. Someone that doesn't have any other clothes or maybe someone that got into an accident. The reason is that I don't think somebody would really wear that shirt to go to school in. Yeah, to be fair, I haven't really seen much of that shirt around and I think that's for a good reason. Number 13, when you forget the eyebrows or when you don't change them at all. Number 14, when you talk with your mouth closed. I remember when I first started watching Gacha Life mini movies, none of the characters would open their mouths. Oh, how times have changed. Number 15, when the babies are huge. Here's an adult for comparison. Oh my goodness, that is a big baby. Number 16, when a character is so close to a preset. Oh yes, I recognize her. To be fair, I always start my characters off with the presets and then I edit them. So sometimes I end up with a character looking 
kind of similar to the preset, but I do try to change it or even is a preset. You ain't fooling anybody. Number 17, when you forget to change the name. Number 18, when an OC is so hybrid, even they don't know what they are. She's like a rabbit, goat, angel, box? I don't even know. Number 19, Mary Sue's characters with little or no flaws at all. Number 20, when couples look more like twins. I see this all of the time, especially couples who have the same mark. Surely that means they're related and that's a little bit weird. Number 21, when kissing doesn't line up. Oh, he's just giving her a kiss on the forehead. What's wrong with that? Number 22, when it's obvious they have two sets of ears. Yeah, to be fair, that one's kind of weird. This person has four ears. Number 23, these sleeves. What's wrong with those sleeves? I use them on my characters all the time. Number 24, when they're blushing when they don't have any reason to. Sometimes people have permanent blush. That's the thing, people do just have rosy cheeks. And unfortunately, I'm not one of those, so I have to use a lot of blush when I do my makeup. Number 25, this front hair. Once again, I don't see a problem with this. Even when a weed whacker could do better. Number 26, when their hair is in their face. When I was growing up, I had a lot of hair in my face. I used to have bangs that would cover my eyes. No one knows how they're able to see. I've gotta say, it is quite easy to see through hair when you're the one looking through it. It's just, if somebody's looking at you, they can't see your eyes. Which is probably why I used to cover up my eyes quite a lot. I didn't want anyone to see me. Number 27, slow frames. Yeah. Slow frames really do suck. When it takes a character half an hour to walk across the screen, you know it's bad. Number 28, off-timing singing. Now, I tend to not watch Gacha Life music videos or anything like that because copyright. So I don't really have any experience with this one. Number 29, when the songs don't match up with the OC. Then again, that doesn't matter. You can like whatever music you like. See, she's singing a song about a tomboy, but she's wearing super girly clothing. And so is this other character, but that's totally okay. I listen to a lot of girly girly music, but sometimes I wear really tomboy clothes. Number 30, when people say they're a tomboy but they're literally wearing a skirt. You can wear whatever you want to wear. Number 31, when people are edgy killers for no reason. Number 32, cotton candy hair. I don't know what to say about this one because my hair is always coloured. Neon hair that doesn't match anything. Ah, feels bad. 34, the lipstick mouths. Now if you know me, you know that I love these mouths. They are just the epitome of comedy. As soon as you put one of these mouths on a gacha character, you have me laughing for no reason. So I have to disagree with this one because the mouths are iconic. Number 35, I love cookies. To be fair, lots of gacha characters love cookies so much that they have them for breakfast. We will never know why. Number 36, I'm so quirky and not like other girls. Number 37, those trolls that think they can kill gacha tubers over the internet. Number 38, gacha heaters. Number 39, when people think gay boys, femboys and soft boys are all the same thing. Number 40, when wearing glasses is considered ugly. I do not agree with this one. I am a part-time glasses wearer myself. And also I read a study last year that showed that people find others more attractive if they wear glasses because apparently glasses are a sign of intelligence. So if you wear glasses, you are apparently attractive. Number 41, when Gacha Life senses class and glasses. <laughs> yes, that is kind of annoying when Gacha doesn't realize that class and glasses isn't actually swearing because of the letters it contains. It thinks you're trying to say another word for but. Number 42, when the hair goes through the hood, gotta say, that does kind of annoy me. Number 43, alphas in general. Why do you hate alphas? Some of the best Gacha Life mini movies that I've watched are all to do with alphas. Number 44, too much of anything. Examples, hair. Wow, she has a lot of hair. Accessories, makeup. Number 45, when you can barely read the text. Number 46, when kids look nothing like their biological parents. I don't look anything like my parents. 
I don't really think that's a bad thing. Daddy, am I adopted? Number 47, when people slide instead of walk. Honestly, that's a superpower. Number 48, when the clothes don't line up. Number 49, when people use this rear hair without a back hair. Number 50, when underage high schoolers go to clubs and drink. Number 51, head bopping memes. The reason I hate head bopping memes is because they're kind of boring. Unless it's either very well done or has something other than just head bopping or words. Number 52, transitions on every frame. Number 53, totally not my teachers. Number 54, don't touch my tail. Number 55, when babies can talk right after they're born. What's up, mum? Number 56, is the father of my kid videos. Number 57, when people think smoking is cool. Smoking is not cool. It's very bad for you. Don't ever do it. Wow. I really sound like your mum, don't I? Number 58, when the characters never change their clothes. Oh yeah, they must really stink. Number 59, when people use colour palettes. What's so bad with that? I literally use a purple colour palette in real life to dress myself. Number 60, fake depressed people. One, it's rude, and two, we don't need any more negative vibes in this community. I have no idea what that even means, to be honest. Fake depressed people? Do people really fake that? Number 61, when you watch a mini movie from a while ago and the part two never came out, gotta say, this has upset me on a personal level many times. Especially when you find a mini movie that is amazing, it's perfect, and then the creator just never uploads again. Why? Number 62, horrible edited memes. Why would you post an obviously terrible meme? 63. Nightcore gacha music videos. They're just too high pitched. Number 64. When people transform during singing battles. Wait, people transform? Maybe it's because they're powering up and they've become more powerful with the sound of music. I have no idea what I'm talking about, do I? Number 66. The pushy meme. Why would anybody think laughing is scary? Number 67. That one, your mom is ugly trend. You can't just come into someone's house and tell them that they're ugly right to their face. Like, do you even have any manners at all? How did you even become someone's friend if you're this rude? Number 68, when almost every mini movie takes place in a school. But isn't that because most people have a, either been to school or two are currently in school so they relate to it more. I don't hate that. I think it's just normal for gacha mini movies to be set in a school. Number 69, when the best friend ships everything. My best friends ship everything so it makes sense to why it happens in gacha. And finally, number 70, when it takes like three hours to make a video about things I hate. If they hate making the video, then why did they make it? Let me know in the comments if you agree with any of these. Make sure to subscribe and if you want to watch another video of mine, you can click here and let's go watch it together.